Hey guys, wanted to go over another new product that's available through Sloan Express. It's a tray for stream bars. We're going to kind of go over some of the changes they've made over time, plus some of the advantages with this new product, with what they've done for updates. So we're just going to go over this. Your two options are like what we have here. You either do a 15 inch center to center on spacings or 20 inch centers on your sprayer. And all these are pretty much for is just trying to apply nitrogen to the ground like a 28 or a 32. Something that gets a little bit of product on the ground real quick. Or if you're trying to top dress wheat, at least you can get over that, have a pretty good volume of, or gallons of eight, gallons per acre on that, on that wheat ground, and get over and get done. So we'll kind of go over what they've changed. The old stream bars used to have, you had to have to pick out an orifice plate to put it down in here before it would actually go out to actually drop down on the ground. Well, what they've done now is they've actually changed it inside to where you can make it a selection. So you got a selector across here, one through six. And what that does is it actually changes an orifice inside this body to where you don't have, all you gotta do is just go along there and just pull every one to that number and you're ready to roll. So also included in with that, they also have a sheet that even breaks that down for your speed and your gallons and all that. That way it's a quick selection because it's already determined or they've already done the numbers on that because um, most times with 28 you always had to figure a little bit higher because water flows better than 28. So they've already done that for us. So all you gotta do is you look at that sheet, it'll tell you where you need to be at for your selection because it's already figured the 28 into it. So. Um, not much really to talk on this. This is pretty much any sprayers on 20 inch centers. This is what you would select. Um, they do include your little gaskets that go inside the, the cap itself to seal that off. And they also do include some little screens. Um, I've been told you really don't need it. I, the only place I could probably see that you would need it is if you're mixing with maybe a lake water or pond water or something like that, or maybe water that's out of a, out of a stream or a ditch or something. Then you might want to have those in there to keep from plugging, plugging the ether at your nozzle or plugging the orifice itself. So if you have any questions, you can call us at 800-934-9777 or check it out on sloneyx.com.